hey guys in this video we are going to be looking at how to achieve this bouncy animation with figma it looks exciting right so stick with us till the end and let's go on this together my name is adela me i'm a member of kairos designers and you're welcome to this channel so you're welcome to this channel once again if this is your first time if this isn't you're welcome back as i mentioned in the intro we are going to be looking at how to achieve that bouncy animation it's really really simple and easy to get all you need to do is to follow the exact steps that we take here you can also apply a number of other things to this so first things first you press a and you bring in your frame i'm using the android large frame so once you've brought in your frame, you create a circle. You create a small circle and just center it to the page using Alt H and Alt V, vertical, horizontal. So it's going to be centered to the page. And then we copy the color from the existing one. This is made in such a way that the for each of the bounds, it's actually get the color gets thicker. So you duplicate that frame with the exact circle that was in the first frame then you hold shift and you press the up arrow key it takes the circle out of the frame or ellipse as others call it so it takes that out of the frame and then you duplicate again making your third frame still that same circle but this time bigger and the color gets darker i hope you're following up to this point so make sure that you get that right do the same thing again bigger circle and darker the color the the shade gets darker we have a video on how to create tints and shades for your um style guide if you haven't seen that i think you should it's going to really really help you so once you've done this you create another duplicate of the frame and this with the darkest color um for this um project then you enlarge the circle such that it covers the whole it covers the whole frame so you can see now it's like the background of the frame itself is the dark green so we are going to copy our buttons and the other elements on the existing page so i made this in such a way that it opens you up to um the sign up page this is going to be for new users so um you put you copy that and you paste it figma has a very very interesting feature whereby when you paste it pastes in the exact same position especially when the frames are alike now it's time for us to prototype i want you to pay close attention here to the prototype so all you need to do is to link the first frame to the other and set it to after delay after delay so after a while then smart animate bouncy and um, we we'll change it from 3000 for some it's going to be 800 yeah so we change back to 800 milliseconds then that's for the from the first frame to the second frame from the second frame to the third frame the same thing after delay smart animate bouncy 800 milliseconds same thing again you could change the, or tweak the timing depending on your um choice so same thing after delay make sure it's after delay then you link the last one so just the same thing but this time you are going to increase the timing to 300 milliseconds 3000 milliseconds to make it like slower and the animation you make it really pop so that's it just make it after delay okay then you just leave it and all we need to do now is to prototype confirm all your details are correct and you just need to prototype it and you get your results immediately so we'll play and just wait for a while for the screen to load i hope this has been really really fun for you guys i really enjoyed making this video and watching the results of what i did so you could just check the prototype settings to make sure that it's on android large check the prototype settings to make sure it's on android large so now we are going to try something else with this so we are going to try us tapping so when you tap we'll change the interaction from this point for now it's set to after delay but we change it to when you tap so we change that so we set it click on the screen then click on the prototype settings so we change it to on tap so once you tap it you are, we are, you are saying once you tap it you want it to change so now it's not going to be after delay anymore so bounces comes in 
opens up opens up to the larger one then on top so that's it very very simple that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it um you can try it for other applications please subscribe to this channel if you think this is something that you'd like to see more often and share with your friends share with other designers thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one bye for now